Hi everyone, I'm Kathy. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you subscribe and you're enjoying all the recipes. Today we're making what I call vegan chicken and dumplings. And the dumplings are your potato gnocchi. It all cooks in one pan and honestly it takes longer to cut up the stuff than it does to cook it. So it's one pot wonder very quickly. So we're going to turn the heat on to medium low. And we're going to begin with one onion diced up. Again, I use my vegetable chopper today. We've talked about the vegetable chopper before. It saves a ton of time. So if you don't have one, you might want to invest in one. And I also have three ribs of celery that I also chopped up. And then, because it's like pumpkin time with Thanksgiving, I made my carrots into little pumpkins. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to take a carrot and you're going to cut a strip out from each little side. And then when you cut the carrot, it looks like a pumpkin. You don't have to do it. It's just a little cute thing I decided to do today. So we're going to just use um, three carrots. This is the last one that I'm cutting up. I'm going to add that in with the onions and the celery. Put that in there. Little pumpkins. Okay, then we're going to let this stir around. We're going to stir it around a little bit until those onions lighten up a little get bit and get translucent. And then... We're going to add eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. I picked portobello mushrooms, the little ones, but you can use any kind. The cremini is fine. And we're going to let those brown up with the onions and all the yummy stuff. Okay. The whole recipe is going to take four cups of vegetable broth, which is in this container. I like the low sodium brand. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a half a cup out of that container and I'm going to take one tablespoon of cornstarch and I'm going to whisk it together because that's going to be my thickening agent for this vegan chicken and dumplings. You want to get it all out of there so I'm going to add a little broth to my my little cup here just so I can get it all out of there. And we're going to set that aside. And I'm going to add a half a cup of white wine to the mix here. Now, for those of you who don't want to cook with wine, you can use lemon juice, you can use vinegar, or you can use extra, extra vegetable broth. I just think it gives it great flavor. I buy these tiny little bottles of white and red. They come in a four-pack at the store in the wine section, and I use them for cooking. I don't drink these. I use them for cooking. And to this mix, I am going to add one can of drained chickpeas. And we're going to stir that in there. And then I have two teaspoons of poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning, despite its name, is vegan. It's, it's a combination of um, different seasonings. It doesn't have chicken in it. So for those of you who are concerned about that, you don't need to be. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of nutritional yeast. And that gives it a nice thickening agent as well as a lot of flavor. Then I'm going to add one cup of frozen peas. You can use fresh ones or frozen ones. And this is three stems or three sprigs of thyme that I took off the stems and chopped up. If you're going to use a dry herb, you need to use half the amount um, indicated in a recipe because it's much stronger. And now we're going to add that three and a half cups of vegetable broth into here. And 
and we're going to bring this to a boil. As soon as it begins to boil and cooks for about five minutes, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients, the gnocchi and this corn stir starch and vegetable broth to thicken it. So we'll come back as soon as it starts to boil. The pot is boiling and everything is softening up nicely. Now, the gnocchi I'm using is a shelf staple gnocchi, and it's found in the Italian section where the pasta is. Most gnocchi is vegan, but you have to look at the package because there's a couple, like in the freezer, freezer or fridge section, that often contain eggs. So just make sure you flip it over, but 90% of it's um, vegan. It only takes three minutes to cook gnocchi in boiling liquid. A key to when the gnocchi is done is when it floats to the top of the pot. So we're going to add the gnocchi into the pot and we're going to stir it together in the boiling fluid and we're going to add our cornstarch thickening agent as well just the vegetable broth mixed with that cornstarch and as it cooks it takes about three minutes so we'll set a three minute timer and come back and serve it up Okay, as you can see, three minutes is up, and all the gnocchi are floating to the top. That means they are done. I did a little taste test just to make sure. I also suggest um, serving crusty bread with this because, <laughs> because the gravy or the sauce is so good that you kind of want to lick the bowl. And just so you know, tomorrow I'm taking a gnocchi class, and I'm learning how to make seven different types of gnocchi with my girlfriend. So look forward to those videos. They're going to be homemade gnocchis. Okay, so we're going to serve it up. Into the bowl. And as usual, I have to run and get a paper towel. To clean up my bowl. And I have a little parsley that we're going to put on top to make it pretty. and serve it with some crusty bread and here we are chickpeas chicken and dumplings vegan chicken and dumplings whatever you want to call it it's yummy hope you enjoy we'll see you next time